Hey, you guys, you're watching Spotlight On with John Brotherton from Fuller House. Stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Oh, look at him. He's got some boy band moves down. He could have been like the sixth it's member of the New Kids on the Block. Um, welcome, everyone. You're watching Spotlight On. I'm your host, Annika Michelle, and with me is the wonderful John Brotherton. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming in. We're course, so excited. Course, Season two Sunday. of uh, Fuller House is coming out. That's right. That's right. I'm counting down the days, as many fans are. Yeah, we're like, very excited. It's, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's cool. Very excited. It's going to be a fun uh, season. From the trailers already, we can already tell there's a lot of holiday episodes of holiday. coming yeah, up. Sort of the theme of the season. There's, yeah, I saw Halloween. We saw Christmas. We saw Thanksgiving. I'm loving it. Yep. And in uh, and the, and the, and the grand finale, the last holiday of the year is even included. So. Oh, New yeah. Year, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so and it's really I, the whole uh, holiday season is coming. I wonder who DJ's going to kiss at I midnight. I know, man. <laughs> Better be, I mean, you know, can you spill a little bit of details on that thing going on there? Well, you know, I can't sp spill too many details, but it's probably something that uh, gets addressed in season two. Okay, um, well, because we left off and she couldn't pick. She picked herself. That's right, that's right. It was uh, it's between uh, you and Steve. Yeah, which is, you know, it's, it's, it's good for the drama. It is, so, yeah. Um, and I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you wh who I think she picks. Okay. I think she picks you. You do? I do. Okay. Here's my reasoning. All right. I think she picks you because she's had Steve all her life, uh -huh. and I mean he's a great guy. I'm a huge fan of Steve on the show. You know, he's I'm not met him, but he seems like a he's great amazing. guy. Yeah, um, he's amazing. But I just think like she's had him. You know, she's had they had a high school. Mm -hmm. You know, all this kind of backstory, and you come in. You guys work together. You have that relationship kind of going on. You understand the kids. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm, uh, your smile <laughs> is kind of telling me I'm correct. Did you see the trailer? There's a couple of things I did in the see the trailer. Um, so it's going to be not, uh, you know, nothing's going to be right. all pretty with a bow. And because she says, oh, I made my decision, and you both say you have girlfriends. We do. I know. And hopefully we not the same that. girl. I know. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> that might get weird. That might that get might a little odd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm just thinking that relationship is not going to last very long. Yours. I don't know about Steve's. Well, yeah, that's a, you know. Uh, that's all I'm saying. A, a I'm just saying that is my guess. guess. <laughs> and when you come back for the Fuller House after show, yes. you can say, hey, you were right. Right. Okay. You so know? we'll plan on that. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. Yeah, we'll um, leave it at that. Did you, did you watch Full House growing up or like, you know? You know, I get asked this question all the time and it's, it's, um, it's kind of funny because I think it was just a different day back then. Okay. The, the answer is I was very aware of it because it was right. pop culture, but I did not watch it. Um, and But it comes down to I grew up with a single mom yeah, in a small little apartment. We had one TV. She didn't watch Full House. It was the day before TiVo and all yeah, that. So yeah. either you watched what was on television or you missed it. Or you didn't watch it, yeah. It, yeah. So, um, my mom just didn't really watch TV. She watched a lot of film and stuff is where I fell in love with sort of the craft in the first place. She was definitely my inspiration for yeah. everything. Um but uh, so that was just not something that she watched, so it wasn't something necessarily I watched growing up. But like I said, I was totally aware of it because it was so right. like a so part big. of pop yeah. culture. Um, but it's funny because a lot of the references now totally go over my head because I, I, <laughs> there's storylines that I'm not uh, aware, aware of. of. Yeah. Like I've been asked about her exes a lot. Yeah. Um, Viper and, and Nelson. Yeah. I think his name is Emmett. Yep. Totally unaware of this. And like they were, one was rich, one was a rock star, right. yeah, you know, yeah, in the yeah, band. Yeah. 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 She's always had this triangle going on. She um, has. Yeah. So, uh, so I've watched more of it actually. My children now. Oh, watch started it. Started watching it. Yeah. Full House. Full House. The yeah. Original. Yeah. They love. It's Michelle. on reruns all the time, they every night. Yes. Of yeah. course. And so, for them, it was very strange because then all of a sudden it was like they continued watching Full House and oh. Everyone grew up all of a sudden. Yeah. And, and wait a minute, daddy. Daddy's on the show. Yeah. yeah. And why are they calling you Matt? And, you know, it's that whole thing. How is that for so. them to see you, like, you know, with other kids and other, you know, they love DJ? It. They, lo they just They're they great. love everyone on the show. And That's of course, awesome. they've gotten to know um, everyone outside of watching the show. And right. It makes it, they love them even more. And, and it, you know, it's one big family. And, and I bet they tell all their friends, my daddy is a. Actor on TV, you can watch him on Netflix. <laughs> do they oh, do that my yet? My six-year-old is really, yeah, she's she's oh my God. she's on, she's hitting that stride. Where That's she likes awesome. To, like, I come and show up at her school, and yeah. every day someone else is like, "Oh, um, your daughter was." 
<laughs> That's very proud. awesome. Yeah, she's so no, proud she's of you. That's proud. awesome. Yeah, she's, she's very sweet. That's great. And then, so when when you had your audition, did you watch Full House at all to like prepare, read a blog? So, truth be told, I didn't audition. It was sort of oh, this really? crazy okay. gift that the universe has blessed me with. Um, so how did that happen? I worked that not for the casting directors a few times, and I'd worked for Bob Boyette, who's one okay, of the exec yeah. mm -hmm. executive producers before um and i think it was a combination of those no one's really told me why right. but it was really one of these things it's funny in this business because you fight and you fight and you fight and you fight and it's this grind and it's constant like you're in the mix for things and it's back and forth with your agent and the anticipation is yeah. always like and if you know sometimes it builds and builds and then it's either yeah you get the job or then you don't and you're right. heartbroken this was a situation where it was this amazing job and and usually the more amazing the job the more it gets drawn out yes and, this was a situation that the, my my agent just called me one day and said, so this is going to sound really crazy, but you remember the show Full House? And yeah. Like, well, of course. And he said, you've gotten this offer and you're going to you're gonna come on to play DJ's new boyfriend. And yeah. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. Like, how is this all just happening? Right. You know, it was like one of those kind of like yeah. moments of, okay, I guess I'll just, you know, start in and, and go. And, and um, it was a you know, it sort of built momentum. I don't think um, where my storyline ended up was not where it was originally it's supposed to go. Because yeah. you got moved up to series regular. Correct. Yeah. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Really I think amazing. everyone loves seeing the um, dynamic of you three. And yeah, we, and I, you can kind of tell you and Steve are forming a little bromance there. Like, it's we, not really fighting, like, hatred. It's like, You know, well, it's funny because <laughs> we were on set right in the beginning, the first few episodes where they really tried to make us yeah. butt heads. And him and I just completely hit it off, just as friends. Right. And it would feel, it felt so awkward on camera, almost like being <laughs> rivals and mad at each yeah. other, that they sort of started to try to find ways to make you bond. Yeah. yeah. To create this bromance, and you know, without giving too much away, that continues in the season two. So it makes it fun because. Um, we are so different, um, but we have a common interest. You do, and, so, and that you know. brings you together. <laughs> yes, it does. That's awesome. Yes, it does. And who do you wish, like, on the set, you get to obviously shoot a lot with DJ, and mm -hmm. I'm sure Candace is amazing to shoot with, but she's, who do you wish yeah, you had awesome. more scenes to shoot with? Like, who do you wish you got to shoot with more? You know, it's funny. We're, we're such a tight group. We all just kind of wish we worked with all of each Everybody other all, all the time. time. Like, yeah. You know, it's funny, because I'll be with... Mike and I have talked about it. We're like, man, I wish we had like, you know, some more like bro scenes yeah. where he gets to like hang out with, you know. And season two starts to like all that kind of well, those storylines bud. Um, but we all have fun when we switch around. I love when I get to work like with the Gibblers. And, yes. You know, and um, Juan Pablo, I just adore. So and he's funny. So talented. His and, accent kills me. Oh man. Okay, can you tell his, me if his accent's really that strong in real life? Well, <laughs> or does he play it up on the show? No, he certainly plays it okay. up. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not giving anything away. You could you could look him up and watch right. his, his. But he's uh, no, he's in in real life. He's not quite so uh, eccentric. <laughs> yeah. And, and flamboyant. I uh, love it. As Fernando. He's, um. They all, I mean, like you said, I've interviewed most of the cast, and they're all so amazing, and everyone's really so down to earth. It's such a really unique experience in this town, because especially all the leads, like, they weren't necessarily in it, right? Yeah. They weren't, it wasn't like, most shows, like, say you book a pilot, you have a bunch of actors who are all in the grind, and it's like, we're all, like, fighting, and there's sort of this, like, kind of this ego thing. Yeah. Even though you all like each other, it's like, everyone's part of this grind, usually with, like, pilot season. The whole right. thing's, like, so much business involved. This was like a big family reunion. Coming back. Where you had people that weren't even in the business anymore. You know, yeah. like Andrea Barber, or, you know, Scott was a writer now. Right. And Jody had had her different th career paths and, you know, things that have happened along the way. And Candace had moved to Florida for 10 years. Yes. Then it was sort of like this big gift everyone was giving and everyone just like gets back together and I don't feel like I'm hanging out with a bunch of actors at all. It's amazing. At all. I feel like I'm just hanging out with a bunch of friends that they turn the cameras on every once in a while and yeah. make people laugh and then otherwise we're just having a good time. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it, it shows. Honestly, it comes across on television. I feel like a lot of other shows try to do that and mm -hmm. because they try, it kind of fails. And it comes so naturally to all of you that we could, as fans, 
when we're watching, we could see that you guys are truly having a good time and everyone's like Instagram stories or, yeah, you know, Snapchats yeah, 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 or, yeah. you know, you could tell no, you guys are having a blast, right, 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 right. you know? On set, we don't stop with the cell phones. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's you led it, by the, the, the legacy cast, man. I'll tell you what, more than anybody, like Bob is like so obsessed really? with the cell phone. And that's funny. Selfies and all those guys. I'm like, all right, That that's would cool. be the last one I would guess. Right? The uh, me too, whole I know. Crew. But they are, I'd they have are other on guesses. it between him and John and Dave. They're on set the whole time I love having it. fun, making jokes taking selfies i have a funny story that i a uh, little birdie told me and you can guess which one of the cast members told me the story about uh -oh. you uh -oh. and um, you can tell the story but i this is the clue for you to tell the story this is okay. what they told me to say chin story at <laughs> jeff franklin's house that's all i need to say yeah, yeah that would be that um was this dave <laughs> You were right. Yeah, yeah, it was okay. Dave, actually. Yeah. Uh, yes, Dave is my hero. Uh, Dave saved my life. He did. He he uh, mentioned that in the story too. Him and his wife were definitely. They were big yeah. parts of saving. Yeah. Um, we were. <laughs> this is. I know it's like embarrassing because it wasn't even like drunk or any sort of. We were at Jeff Franklin's house. Right. Um, and, and this is like pretty recent. Uh, very recent. Right. Yeah. It was. It was actually we were in the middle of season. It was during a hiatus week. Thank God. Um, and he has this amazing home um, with this pool area that's waterfalls and lazy rivers and I mean it goes on and on yeah. and around and he's got these slides and so we were going down the slides over and over and over again and I yeah. thought yeah you know <laughs> let's go down face first oh and my gosh. so I uh, you know there was a day I was a little more of an adrenaline junkie I'd like yeah. to, I thought I left all that behind me but um, wow. yeah so I, I just Clipped it on the way in the water. Oh. I thought nothing of it. It felt like a little bee sting because I was going yeah. fast. And I got out and I turned to Ash, who was actually in the water, um, Lola. Yeah. And I'm like, am I bleeding? And <laughs> she <laughs> screams. And oh my gosh. the next thing you know, like the whole party, like 200 <laughs> people like going around. And I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine. And there's blood everywhere. Oh and my gosh. I didn't, yeah. Anyways, I had to, Dave took me to the emergency That's what room. he said. He said, me and, me, me and my wife packed him in the car and we just drove yeah, him to the I emergency know. room. I still had like my towel from the pool on and here, I'm sure people were like looking, here's, <laughs> you know, Joey bringing me in and I'm like bleeding with, oh I'm in a towel gosh. and like, he drops me off. I'm, I, I can only imagine what some of the people in the ER was like, what just happened? <laughs> you know? Well, um, I'm glad you're fine and yeah, you can laugh yeah, about yeah. it now. Yeah, it was a little chin tuck. I got a little tuck. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm sure you probably will never do that again. No, I will not. No, but yeah. My wife likes to remind me of it. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you want to try something, you know, daring, yes, just remember the chin in the pool That's and right. don't yes. don't I try know. it. I know. No, it's true. I know. I'm not a, <laughs> not a teenager anymore no but it was funny he shared that with me the other day i ran into him and i told him i'm interviewing you and he said you know what you should bring up i said what should i bring up and this is what you told it. me yep right here um so. you can't even see it i feel like i know I hardly got I, mean, I definitely got lucky yeah oh yeah you know. you're fine so this is my my no right here i think yeah my yeah. four year old scar and my 36 year old oh scar. my gosh <laughs> well there you go hopefully no more um, that was great. That was an awesome story. I'm glad, I'm glad I ran into him and I'm glad That's we got crazy. to hear yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so I know like everyone kind of watching Full House throughout the years like thinks, you know, fans will be like, oh my God, Kimmy's really like that or, you know, mm -hmm. in real life because you just associate that so much with her character. Like, who would you say is most and least like their character on Full or House? Um, in real life, obviously. Well, yeah, Andrea certainly is not Kimmy Gibbler. Right. Um, <clears throat> there's, so you would say she's the least. Kimmy Gibbler in this world. She <laughs> I mean, such a you unique, know. Uh, Andrea is such an amazing human being in person. She's the sweetest, like, least sort of, she's like the least celebrity. She's like the most talented person I've yeah. worked with that has, like, no interest in being a celebrity. Celebrity she's star, really yeah. She's really not at all. Like, really has truly, like, I know lots of people in this town that sort of, you know, would like to say that oh yeah i'm not yeah. interested in being famous well we all know that that's just part of the business right like, it happens you know it is a popularity yeah. contest andrea is like the really the one person that is 100 percent like still almost doesn't believe that she is who she is or is in the position that she's in she like, yeah. just goes out there and performs and everyone loves her but like she almost like denies that it, it's almost like one of these things like she separates it completely and she can just be such a loving dear friend in, in real life and just sweet and she's just a mom and, you know, that's amazing. Um, so, you know, but uh, I mean, you know, everyone's as far as being similar. One thing Jeff is good at the head writer is, okay. is he plugs in. He likes to plug in stuff from real life 
into the show. So you'll see a lot of traits in the characters that come of from each person, inspirations yeah. from their own life. Is, is something as specific as like Sony is an amazing dancer in real life. Yeah. They're like, well, let's write it into the story. Though. Yeah. Um, you know, things happen in this season, like with Fernando and Juan, pa Juan Pablo in real life, um, that, you know, he can sing and dance. So you might see a little bit of that. I saw him in the Halloween episode in the yeah, trailer dressed as Ricky Ricardo and Kimmy is Gib uh Kimmy is Gibbler. Kimmy has uh Lucy. Lucille, she is Lucy. They Ball. looked amazing. Shima oh my Ball, gosh. If she doesn't get I mean, she is it is so it good. will blow your mind. Oh when gosh, you watch her. I cannot wait. No one has ever done Lucille Ball like this, I don't think. And I, mean, I think if I'm not mistaken. Image. At least I know in Universal, if the girls that have to portray Lucille Ball have to get signed off from the Lucille Ball like foundation that or charity, be. they're that not might, allowed to right, hire that, a that girl. So I don't know if they had to do something like that with Kimmy, uh, like in the wig and show a picture, because I know they're right. very strict about her image oh, and like. At least at Universal, yeah. none of those girls, because they're my friends, right, can yeah. do that. Oh, interesting. Well, they so, must have, yeah, because they went for it. They definitely. Yeah. I mean, it looks hilarious in the preview. And and you got to perform with uh, the people we got to dance in with, New Kids on the Block, which you said that she's also a huge fan of. Yes, she is a, <laughs> she's a huge, huge fan of, of New Kids. That just goes to show you who she is as a human being, because right. she seriously sep she can separate herself completely and is such a genuine <laughs> fan. Like, when they showed up, she was not, like, the pretend fan. Oh, I love you guys, but, you know, look at me. Right. No, she, is, she was, like, fangirl, brought her gear from I the shows. I love it. That's you know, amazing. she all of all of the stuff you see in the show was provided by her. <laughs> was like, that really her first and, time meeting them? No. I think she, no, because she goes on those cruises, there's so right? Cruises, yeah. That's she's amazing. like a real, a true, fan. real fan. Yeah, I mean, and they all the girls were, which was really cool. I mean, they were yeah. like those were their guys from you know the when time they when they were growing up. Sure, yeah, yeah. They were even my first concert, so that's I, amazing. Yeah. So how was that working with them? Was that like kind of surreal? Yeah, they were really great. They were all just happy to be there, and and you know, I mean, it, talk about like nostalgia just like right, I just sit back up. and I'm like this is crazy you've got the tanners you've got new kids and like here I am I don't yeah know. it's like I pinch myself did your day. wife want to come to set that week oh she came yeah oh brought I'm the sure kid. Yeah, we, brought the, we, we brought the kids by once I had her come whoops she's actually in um I had her and a couple friends um they're in the crowd for yeah the for the new kids show. that's yeah, awesome I had them, I'm like come up you know they're 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 in the, the front row so that's awesome. Uh, that sounds yeah. like such a fun day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I cannot yeah, wait good. to see this episode. Yeah. Like, you guys, seriously, your trailer is blowing me. The best part about the new kids wasn't even necessarily, I mean, the concert was so cool to see them perform and how serious they took it and what great performers they are. But they all took the work really seriously and tried yeah, to really that's amazing. have fun with their characters in the, the, the script and, and the storyline that was written for them. And, and they're all really funny, and, and it's really, it's really <laughs> a great episode. It's that's really awesome. Great episode. Um, can you share any like funny backstage stories? I mean, we, we like that happen on set. Do you guys like play pranks on each other? Not like mean pranks, but you know, like. Yeah, you know, gosh, off the top of my head, I can't necessarily think of anything. But but what comes to mind is our set because especially because there are also kids involved. Right. So is is it feels like a big home? I mean, right. all of a sudden you'll have like Elias and Mike run by right. playing laser tag. Yeah. And then like while you're having a conversation with the head writer. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean like it's like and then you've got Sony dancing in the corner and teaching you yeah. know, out of moves and it's really like a constant sort of beautiful organized chaos. Going on, yeah. Because you know? um, everyone works really hard but it's always like good a times. A fun time, yeah. Um, I heard you guys have a pizza party show night. Yeah, well, there's always, yeah, there's 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 never <laughs> a lack of Never food. an ending of food <laughs> yeah. at Crafty. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, we just, it's, you know, I think from the top down, Jeff, um, as he likes to put it, he doesn't like a-holes. Right. Simple as no. that. No, who does though? And so he just keeps, he keeps it, he doesn't get loud or crazy or he's not that kind of guy, but he just, I can just tell, he just keeps those sorts away. Yeah. Um, and I feel like most people should probably do that in their life. Yeah, but it's weird. You'll see, you know, there's some people in this business, you're yeah. like, how are you still working? You know? Yeah, um, I see that all the time. It's crazy. he just wants to surround the whole show, the set, the his, himself, everybody, which is good, good old fashioned people. Yeah. Um, and that's, you know, so, so there are, I mean, are there pranks? Or there, there's just good, it feels just like good sometimes times it feels all like the time. kind of like a fraternity, like literally like awesome. a dorm, like people yeah. running, you know, like there's this, you never know what you're going to get, but you're going to hear music down the hall and you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, 
It's really fun. It's That's really awesome. Really fun. And then do you, you, I mean, I know last season, at least for season one, when it came out on Netflix, you guys found out right away the season two is picked up. Yeah. Do you guys kind of feel like that's what's going to happen this season two, or do they say anything to you guys? Yeah, you know, they they like to <laughs> dangle characters. Right, for a lot. yeah. You know, like, I don't think anyone is expecting not to get picked up, right? right? But they like to, all the Netflix guys who I adore, you know, <laughs> like to keep us anxiously waiting. Yeah. So, um... I feel like it's going to happen for you. I'll just say it. I mean, you know, yeah. They, it's funny because in one conversation we'll talk about, you know, the future. Yeah. Um, but then it's like, but. You know, yeah. That's if you. you know, that's if you get picked up. Yeah. Right, 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 I feel like so. they, they have to say that to protect themselves because they can't tell of course, you. yeah. So they're just like, yeah, yeah. it's going to be great. But, you know, you right, know. Right, right. But it's well, like, like, no, just tell me. Just Do I have yeah. to look for work? What's going on in my life? It you gives know? us something else to celebrate, though. So, yeah. So that, It'll be, be fun. fun. Yeah. Did you have a favorite episode this season that you shot and last season? Um, last season, though, I mean, last season was just so fun because the whole thing was so it kind of built and built and built. Right. Like I said, from where I started to where, to the where you are the season, now, yeah. the whole like taking over the pet clinic thing, like, yeah. none of that was, so that whole, th just the whole, gr like the growth of season one as a, as a cast, we all felt the momentum as the season went on, like, oh wow, we're hitting our stride. Like, yeah. We felt like every week we were getting better and the shows were getting tighter. Um, but the one, the one episode that, that comes to mind is the Bollywood episode. Oh, so just, fun. It was just such a unique experience and like, it was our choreographer is like one of the world's most renowned. That's amazing. So it's like we really got the Bollywood experience. Yeah. Like and if, and he wanted to be authentic, and we worked our tails off like all week long. It looked long. so. It looked like a music and video. It was it was so fun because it was just so different than like anything that you know. It was yeah. Not about being cool or being anything except like they call it the happy dance. Right. And if you watch, everyone just like has this. It's like, happy. Grin on their face yeah. the whole time, and it's not like force. It's because there's just something about. The music the dance and the, and whole the dancing. Thing. Yeah. Um, for fans who watch Full House, Jesse, Uncle Jesse, mm -hmm. back in the day, did like kind of a Bollywood. He was like, he didn't do it, but his like record producer guy or whatever okay. was okay. like, Jesse, you need to do this and put him in some like Aladdin pants <laughs> and like try to teach Jesse how to dance. Jesse couldn't dance the Bollywood. Uh huh. And uh, he was like, I can't do this. I'm stripping all this down. The Bollywood is going away. He came out of like a genie bottle, like dancing. Oh, man. Um, so I wonder if Jeff Franklin was like, oh, that it was like a be. big yeah. hit. So let's bring that, you know, back in. It could be because the first season, that's what a lot of the conversation was or like, you know, touching on nostalgic points. Right. From the, you know, early on and using those ideas. Uh, moving forward so that very well could be what, yeah you know, it was just funny stuff. i saw that and i was like uncle jesse did that in full house oh, but then he cool. like in the end was like this is my decision my music video took off the bollywood stuff and then like just did you know whatever uh -huh. like his own uh -huh. but you you saw him dancing it or trying to dance it messing up and like choking on the smoke and right, go back yeah, and watch yeah, the yeah. episode I you'll will. love it I totally will. <laughs> I totally will. um but you aside from Fuller House, which I could go on talking about all day, as I'm sure you can tell, um, have done many other things. You have a Christmas movie coming out. I do. Yeah, Girlfriends we, I of Christmas Past. We the premiere last night. Oh, yeah. nice, because yeah, it's, it's out fun. December 4th in a couple Correct. weeks. Correct, yes. And you are the guy that the three ex-girlfriends... <laughs> I am not Dr. Matt Harmon. Let me tell you, which is fun about it. Team um, up together to get revenge on you. Yeah, he is. I'm not... I, I'm the guy... Literally, last night, so funny. <laughs> we're in the theater last night, and it was like for my first handful of scenes, every time I'm on the screen, they're like, ew, ah, Because it's like, I'm just playing... So I play opposite. That. Well, yeah, I definitely play a... Um, Sort of a player, yeah. Know, like um, kind of a douchey guy. Yeah, and it's all my girlfriends that I've screwed over <laughs> come back to get me. Um, but it is a rom com, so it's in a you know gentle, lighthearted way. Right. Um, but lots of fun, giggling moments. Yeah. And, and yeah, that's they awesome. They try to get me. Good. I love the photo, by the way, the just the promotional photo for it. I mean, <laughs> you tied up in Christmas lights, right. and the girls just holding onto the lights, and the other two are just like waving in the back. Yeah, no, it it's was. So it was cute. The, the, the pick on John movie. Yeah, how uh, long did that take to shoot? How how long were you shooting that, was, that for? That was only about a month. Uh, oh wow, okay, yeah. that's uh, fast. I want to say it was actually right after season. Yeah, no, it was. It was right after season one because I'm, I'll, I'll never forget getting the call. I remember getting the call while I was on set that getting offered. Did uh, you audition for this one? The, uh, no, I did not audition. Uh, look at one. this man. This guy's luck. Just getting calls look, and parts. Look. I've auditioned plenty of times and not gotten <laughs> That's it. That's crazy. So there's a few, yeah. few along the way that get offered. That's amazing, though. That's blessing. amazing. I'm sure people would die to be in your position. Man, I mean, look, it's a huge blessing. That's it's crazy. Just, 
I, I laugh now because I've been here. I moved here in 2003, and I feel like I got my doctorate. So right. now the jobs are like you coming. Know, yeah, you you put in the grind, you put in the time, you've auditioned, gotten yeah. rejected. I've waited on plenty of tables and served plenty of drinks. Yes. And bounced plenty of fools out of clubs. Yes. I've Tell the story stripes, about Maria uh, and the drink. Yo, yeah, no, many many years ago, um, I remember her coming in. Um, to vibrato i used to work at vibrato and, and this is here in enough, la or yeah, new york um here in la, LA. it's, it's bel air it's it's in bel air it's a jazz supper club it's a yeah. roberts restaurant it's an amazing place it was a great place to work um and um yeah she used to come in and it was funny i remember waiting on her one of my last days working there yeah. before i left to work on furious seven yeah and um the next time I saw her was on the red carpet. Isn't that crazy? For Fear 7, and she was, you know, interviewing me. So How is the world a, it's turns? A funny, it's a funny business. Yeah. You know, it's so. crazy. And you never know. I always say this, like, you have to be nice to everyone, regardless of well, what Well, I have happens, to say, she was as lovely being uh, waited on as she was asking she's me She's an amazing person. So. He's talking about Maria Menounos, you guys, in case you yes, haven't figured yeah. out which Maria. Yeah. But she's awesome, and obviously has started this for everybody. And Right, I know. Pretty cool. Very, it's very, amazing. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, I just thought that was a really cute story yeah, no, I wanted you to share it on air. Funny. Um, but Furious 7, mm -hmm. you played Shepard. I did, yeah. And I know you got really close to Paul Walker, and you're good with his charity now, and you were asked to step in to, to his part after he passed away. Correct. How yeah. was, that must have been difficult. I can't imagine. <sighs> that was um, the most unique experience of, yeah. of my life. Um, it was the biggest honor of my life to be asked to do that, to be, you know, um, it was a, um, yeah, I mean, it, I've, I've always been at a loss for words trying to describe yeah. my experience. Um, it, it wasn't, it was, a, it was a long process, but I had worked with the director before, and I think that was something that, that you know, um, we had a, a level of comfort. And then I had worked on the movie for right. the first few months and got to know Paul and um, and got to know everyone. And yeah. ironically, I wrapped the weekend That's crazy. of the accident. Yeah. And then they went into hiatus. And then a few months passed, and James ended up calling me. Um, and I basically just said, look, I'll do whatever you need me to do to help. Um, do he, this. he was yeah. as truly as amazing as p the, paint, the picture everyone paints him to yeah. be. I mean, Paul Walker was truly an amazing, amazing man. Um, who just really cared about other people, like his his causes, his charities. He never put his name on or used his yeah. No, to it's called uh, Reach Out Worldwide. Yes. He, um, he funded it himself. He started it himself. He didn't put it in the public eye. The only reason it was a charity is because his his, his accountants were like, if you're going to continue to go save the world, let's turn you it into a charity. Teach. Yeah. Um, so it's not just right out of your bank account, and so that's why Reach Out Worldwide. And then, you know, one of those. Uh, sort of the, the accident um, kind of catapulted the charity, put a spotlight on the charity. His brother Cody took it over. Right. Who is one of my now one of my best friends in the world. That he, was what I what I drew most from the movie that I didn't expect is how close I got with his brothers. That's amazing. And, and he has family. one brother, right? He has two him. brothers. Oh two, yeah. okay. Yeah, I thought yeah. he had and one. They both yeah. were heavily involved in the, the film and yeah. worked their tails off and we got really close. Um, yeah. You know, we were together every day wearing the exact same clothes and trying to do it what we could to just honor Paul right. on screen and off screen yeah and, and just everyone involved just wanted to do what they could to honor Paul on that's screen amazing and off screen. Um, yeah I mean everyone loved him and so. I've, I have not met him before but I just from like the stories I've heard about him and people talking about him and not not one like even merely just not even a negative everyone's no, like man, he's amazing he, was, he really was the glue of that set he was yeah there's that old cliche that like you know the dude that like every girl wants to <laughs> yeah. Guy wants to have a beer with, right. right? He is that guy. He's guy. He is that guy yeah. that like just everyone loves. Everyone loves. Like he's the coolest dude yeah. in the room and the the dude that every girl wants to be with. Yeah. And like and he just had a way of of handling it and being it was he made it, he made being cool look so easy. Um, yeah. Cuz he was a sweetheart and that's the thing that that kept him. I think that's what people forget. Like they think that to be cool is like to be douchey and a jerk and you know yeah, standoffish. Like, it's like that's not that's not no, going to get the, you he far. No, he learned everyone's name on set. He yeah. was on time. And like the little stuff that you're like, you know, that gets sort of um yeah, he was he was just a pro. He was That's amazing. He, he called everyone else out when they weren't being oh, a pro. He was definitely awesome. the one that like, yeah. kept people in check. Um, yeah. Because uh, yeah, he was just uh, that's awesome. That's amazing. That must have been person. so fun to work with him and do that film yeah. and be able to like 
spend that time and get to know him. And like you said, his family. And I give it up to his brother. I don't know which one, but I know one of them's got full custody of his daughter. Well, his brothers, no. No, really? I, the, yeah. the tabloid said that, but yeah, I'm not. No, no. Um, man, I learned in that. Like, I'll tell you what, I learned in that whole experience not to believe what you read. Right. I, I never really understood that cliche until I was in the middle of that storm. Right. Um, and that how different, that what the media says said about what was going on and what was really going really on happening were, were, yeah were very different at the time and it was understandable universal sort of had they didn't know what to, how to deal with it and right. how, what to tell the public what not to tell the public but then the public just told their own story yeah so it didn't even matter it was like these stories were just flying coming around up out of nowhere putting pictures in with the wrong names and the whole thing was it was like i, I definitely learned you know um not to believe what you read yeah going through that experience. you were just thinking something that like that that wouldn't make it up because it's like a tragic event and that it's a sweet thing like oh the brothers now has full custody like why would they you know yeah no I you don't would just know. think like oh that's really sweet he took over you know watching right, a teenager right. right now but right um that's clearly not the case as you yeah, said no, i know Me meadow's doing really well um and uh the whole family's you know you know, they dealt with a massive tragedy. Yeah, so they're insane. doing as well as, as they, they could. could be. Um, yeah, we just, we had the second annual game for Paul, which Cody and I had started last year yeah. uh, and this year. And it was great. The whole family came. And it That's was one awesome. of the most amazing uh, we, made, we raised a hundred grand in a wow. day, or hundred almost thirty, I think. Wow, and that's for his charity. For his charity. That's amazing. Um, and um, yeah, the whole family showed up um, to support. Yeah, it that's was just huge. really cool, really really cool. Vin showed up, which was really nice. That's a, uh, yeah. He did that tribute to him at the so, award show. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Wow. Well, I'm glad you got to work with him, and I'm glad that it was just as amazing experience as I hear from everyone yeah, else. That yeah, has... we just we, you know we both have daughters. That's where we had that bond. Clicked. Yeah, yeah. this is just kind of the, our, where our first conversations Went. started, and um, you know, I only got to work from for about two and a half months, so it's not like you know, I got to know him. But you got a bond, obviously. That. You were yeah, able to we bond had a nice in that short little, time, of course. We were, we were both, you know, a couple of just bros, dudes that yeah. like you know could talk about sports and That's getting awesome. dirty, and you know, our yeah. daughters and what it's like. He has a to teenager a and I have young ones, and it was more like I was talking to him a lot about what's what that's what's coming like. up. And yeah, I remember him specifically. He was so happy his daughter had just moved um, to California. It was just a light in his eyes. I mean, yeah. he was just so excited to that's that awesome. she was like a teenager now, and he, yeah. he was. They felt he felt like they were like really homies for the first yeah. time, and he was really just loving that. I mean, I remember he flew home for one night to, to for her like homecoming yeah and, and then you know was back came the back next to work day. that's so we were in sweet Atlanta, so it's you know i mean yeah so he was he was very he was a dedicated father and friend that's and, amazing yeah. wow well that's i someone couldn't have some nicer words about him so i'm sure if his family or whatever heard this they would be thrilled <laughs> that's amazing um and speaking of your daughter though because you didn't mention them they're little the four and six correct okay yeah, so yeah. what would you do if they came up to you and said dad i want to get into acting would you like what would you say well you know it's funny because Shia, my my eldest, had that kind of conversation with me once. Um, okay. The first time that, that that they really saw me, that they got a kick out. I mean, I have a small little part in Guardians of the Galaxy, right. and they they had seen the movie and loved it, and then and would rewatch it and freak out every time I would come on screen. And we were having a, a moment in the car one day where, it, gosh, this is now a couple of years ago, so my daughter was probably four and change. Yeah. Right after it come out, and, and she said, "Hey, Daddy, why are you?" in the movie so that sort <laughs> of so sparked cute. this conversation of me explaining what i do for a living yeah and then she sat there and she was all quiet for a minute and she said i want to do that and i said okay and it's something that i've never wanted to, to push on her right. I said, well i said you know how you see daddy and he's got his sides and he's yeah. in the office and he's reading and i said sometime how about this i said well we'll find a you know we'll find maybe one piece of paper like or pe one short scene sides and we'll sit in my office and we'll read it and we'll see how you like it yeah she sat there and she was kind of quiet in the back seat for a minute she was like no daddy i want to go to the place with all the cameras yeah <laughs> like i don't want to sit in your <laughs> office and read that's not what i'm signing up for <laughs> she said i'm like i know so do i i want to be at the place with all the cameras right. all the time too yeah. that's the whole that's grind so cute. Of it all. uh but uh the real work is in the office right. with the piece of paper <laughs> and the tape recorder um, yeah so that's cute yeah you know We'll see. We'll see where it ends up. I mean, it kind of is the family business because they're around it all the time. They're right. around set with the other, you know, our friends' kids. Yeah. That, that set to them is is another playground. It's another home, know? yeah. So if it happens, I want it to happen organically. Right. Like, not I'm, you guys I'm, pushing them into we, it, obviously. We'll yeah. probably not be going to too many, like, you know, cattle call castings. Right. No. Um, they're already in Hollywood, so it's like I don't need to overexpose them to it. Right. Um, it's just that's the life that they've been, you know. 
Have they, have they, like, I mean, I know those are still super young, but, like, if anyone has approached you on the street, have they been like, why are you talking to them, or why are you taking a picture with this person? Who is this stranger that wants to hug you, or? No, you know, my, <laughs> my eldest is, uh, she's very aware of it, and she, <laughs> she enjoys it. Does she? Okay. She's like, I'll she, take the photo. <laughs> she enjoys it. Yeah, she's, she's very, she likes to, yeah, she's not quiet about it. Uh, part of it is she loves the show, I think, right. so she's quick to tell all her friends. That's and so cute. Teachers and, you know, so, yeah, she doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't shy away from that. That's awesome. Well, you never know. You might have two little actresses on yeah, your we'll hand. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. They're also little They're... jocks, so. Are they really? Yeah. How yeah. funny. Well, my wife was, a, she was a jock as well, so. Right. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if one of them ends up, I don't know, swinging a club of some sort. Or, that would be fun. Know, so. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, I just have to say quickly, going back to your holiday movie, because we kind of strayed away mm -hmm. that from that for a second, but um, so you shot a lot of, like, obviously you shot Christmas, New Year, all that on Fuller House, but mm -hmm. this was all just like a Christmas movie. Correct, yeah. So how was, like, which one do you prefer, doing episodes or, like, a whole theme oh, holiday? Boy. Do you know what I mean? You mean, like, a movie yeah. versus TV? Or? Yeah, that too. Um, you know, it, gosh... It all, I mean, each job is different and fun, and if you love what you do, it, sometimes it just doesn't matter. I mean, just having the opportunity to work is, I had a blast doing it. It was fun, because in that movie, like I said, I got to be the sort of douchebag. The douchebag, yeah. Which is so fun to <laughs> so play. Different. It's so fun. And, um, and then, you know, there's just nothing like live shows on the, you know, it's been, that is... Is so fun, and you get so, to work with a live audience. So, the, yeah, and the feedback the is instant. Yeah. Laughter is instant. Claps are instant. And these, I mean, this audience wants to be there. Yes, loves to be there. So, like, you just sort of begin to talk. In the right. <laughs> it's like the coolest thing. I mean, they're amazing. And, yeah. And it's um, tape night is is like Christmas every week. I'm gonna it's come this season. Amazing. I'm gonna try to come. Yeah. And check it out. It's, you should. It's really fun. It's, it's really, one really of my, fun. I mean, obviously Full House, but, you know, I think it would be so fun to just be there on a Friday and see you guys No, it is. And night. it's the same, I mean, it's the original stage. It's the couch right. is in the same place it was 27 years ago. And it also was the friend stage, so there's like I know history, that, yeah. That's, you know. That's so cool. So, and then it was Mike and Molly. and, and so Yeah, and now it's back to good, you guys. Yeah, we got some good energy. Good people in there. For sure. On stage A hundred percent. If you could pick anyone in the world to film with who would you pick oh boy i could say dead or alive but i don't know if that's gonna make your choices harder well when you say dead or alive the first person the the, the actor from my age group that i always really admired that unfortunately like so many greats left us too early was heath ledger yeah he was definitely the one that i would have had you I met just, him I, no i just idolized I, I feel like i loved his choices as a as an actor and right. as a like within the scene and then his choices of his career and the, the the various roles he was able to play. I mean, he made everything fantastic. You look at a movie like Knight's Tale. Yeah. A movie like that wouldn't have a chance if it wasn't for an amazing job that, that he did. Or then you see some of the other stuff, like, I don't know if you saw Candy. It was this yeah. Australian film where he plays this heroin addict, and it's like... He's, he's so in it. So good. Mm -hmm. He's so good. Um, so he just he was just someone I always thought was perfect everything he, every time he was on screen he was just perfect um, yeah but there's so many i mean that's the wonderful thing about this town is just there's a lot of people yeah there's so many amazing artists um and i've i gosh i hope to work with every single one of them i hope you do uh, too that so. would be amazing and if you weren't an actor what what do you think you'd be doing with your life like what career Man, would you do you know i was a very much a, i was i was like in the corporate you know suit and tie lane um, oh okay is what i was were you happy thought. doing that or not um, really well, no, I, that's what I studied. It was weird because a lot of people grew up in this business like, oh, I always wanted to be an actor. Yeah. The weird thing is I come from this artistic family where we had this love for film and acting and stuff. Right. And I started acting when I was young, but it was always just a hobby. And never, ever, ever even considered it until I was in college. Oh, My wow. mom always was like, I think you should go to L.A. and do this. And I was yeah. always like, no, I'm going to, you know, go to yeah. Wall Street. You know, I totally thought I was like going to be, you know. This is so interesting. Yeah, so... Uh, so what was the switch in your head to be like, I'm was finally doing this? one moment in time. Um, I was standing in a grocery store line in Seattle. Okay. I was in the middle of a summer where I had this internship that I thought I wanted. It was with this real estate development company. Um, and fortunately, 
Unfortunately, at the time, yeah. the company was falling apart. Fortunately for me, for it was falling apart. Right. So it made me step back and go, okay, this is miserable. Why, you know, Why am this, I doing this? Yeah, yeah. This is what I thought I wanted to be doing. And I was literally staring at a cover of Ben Affleck. I mean, cover <laughs> of like Us Weekly. Right. Ben, Affleck ben Affleck was on the cover on it, yeah. and I'm waiting in line. And I had this, it was, I mean, it was a moment in time. I look, it, it was, I, I looked at him and I was like, man, he's just a, I could relate to him somehow because he was like, well, not some like, you know, dark theater yeah. actor. He seemed like the guy that you knew from high school that was your right. buddy that like, you know, he was just a relatable guy to me. Um, and I thought, you know, he's just a dude from a neighborhood. This is literally the conversation I had. So I'm like, that's just a guy from a neighborhood that just went after what made him happy. Right. And I literally walked out of the grocery store, called my mom. I said, I'm moving to L.A. And I, I, I never... That's amazing. Looked back. Have you ever told Ben Affleck the story? I've never met Ben Affleck, but one day <laughs> I if think I do, he'll want to know. Will, you know? Will. Yeah, he had a big, yeah, he had a big impact. I never looked back. It was that I went back. I finished school because I wanted to graduate. Right. And you did a major in. Um, I got a degree in um, international business. I got a degree in finance and management. Information wow! Systems. Look at you. Oh, yes. That's amazing. So, um, and then I was a theater minor because I just did it for fun. Yeah. Um, and I, I did never too. thought that it was you know. Gonna, gonna lead you to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until I made the decision that I would, it was, I didn't have a backup plan. It was like, once I committed to it, There's no, there was no, yeah. uh, you know. I feel like you can't have a backup plan. You have to no, go full people in. people have always said that. Yeah. Like, oh, you got your degree. That's great. So you have something to fall back on. I'm like, I, I'm not planning on falling back. Otherwise, I wouldn't do, do it. Do this. And yeah. I tell people that, that have asked me, you know, like, look, if it's something that you're just going to try, yeah. like, it's not worth it because it, it'll tear you up. Yes. I mean, it's the most difficult path to choose. There's no guarantees. Yeah. Um, but the rewards are, you know, I mean, huge. huge. And there's a lot of, I feel like, talented people who don't make it, no, you man, know, and I there's know. a lot of, like, you know, okay people that do. So it's like, it's not, I always, based on the talent, it's like, it could be literally anything. anything. I, and I've been on the other side of the table and I've heard, I've heard people, no joke, I've heard people get cut for the weirdest reasons. Like, oh, she reminds me of my neighbor's aunt. What does that have to do with anything? Right, do you like how they read or not? I you know? know? I know. I know, no, it's it's a like it's, it's a so crazy, business. and like yes. I wish actors would like realize like it's sometimes the the small because they've been on the other side and seen the, their comments as they're watching you know audition after audition and like oh no his hair was sticking up weird what do you what does that have to do with right. anything do I you know. like the guy or not you can fix his hair and hair and makeup you know like and then that actor's probably like oh god I suck or whatever you know thinking something no, negative it's crazy. yeah I've lost jobs for hair color I've have gotten, you really yeah sure that came down to two guys and they were like well your hair color was too similar to the girl that you're going to be playing opposite, and they wanted to have opposite hair color. Like, yeah. literally, I've had that conversation. You're, you're like, like, okay, I, moving on, you know? It's like, yeah. That's the reality of this business. It's like, you know, so, what, you know, what do you do? Um, you just take every little opportunity you have and try to run with it. Um, so that would so. be your advice you would give to... Yeah, I mean, yeah. I remember when I first got here, I did everything I possibly could. Student films, stuff that, you know, gosh, if people saw now. That, <laughs> <laughs> but, I, you know, I, I was just thrilled. I remember the first student film I booked when I first moved here. I yeah. was excited and cheered the same way that I do now when I booked, like, Fuller House because it's all, like, relative to the moment. And, and I remember those jobs, attacking those jobs probably even f more fiercely than I do now because I was just so hungry back then. Yeah, um, that's amazing. You have to be, I feel like. You have to be. You have to be. I remember yeah. waking up and I had an air mattress on the ground in, when I first lived here and I'd wake up like in a panic, like, what am I doing? Like, I moved here with nothing, just right. clothes in the back of my car and would just grab script, like old plays that I had to stack up next to my bed and I would just start reading and then I kind of ground myself and be like, okay, that's why you're here. Yeah. Submitting to Backstage West, that yes, the old fashioned way with like the newspaper, headshots, yeah. like actual headshots, <laughs> stuffing envelopes and like stick them in the mail. Like those days were like you know, uh, not happening anymore. But yeah, like, that was the grind. Uh, you have to, you have to put in no. the time to get it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to ask you this question and, I'm gonna, and then I'm going to look at fan questions. Okay, but okay. is there anyone that you get kind of starstruck by? Oh, man, that's a good question. Um, or, like, have you met them, or you think if you meet them, you will get starstruck? Um, I'm, sh you know, I mean, there would be so many amazing people that if I were to meet would be jaw-dropping. Um, what's coming to mind is just the other night I got to go to a screening of Heat with, okay. with the entire original cast and and director and it was Christopher Nolan was the commentator. Yeah. So Pacino was there and and De Niro was there and Kilmer was there and to have all of them we were at the Academy 
and to have all them in one room and reflect on something they did so long ago and, and they were all just sort of reflecting on their careers and but just being able to witness them kind of being friends and the banter between, you know, here you yeah. Chino and De Niro, that now they're like, they're on the flip side of a career where they kind of are just like a couple old dudes that, you know, not that they don't care anymore, but they're not trying anymore. It's like they just are who they are and they yeah. giggling with their inside jokes and it was just so fun to, to watch be there and see that. two guys that have just, you know, done it their whole life and are such pros and can just appreciate each other. They really appreciate each other and admire each other. Um, and they're just very real at this point in their career. You know, there's nothing, they're, they're not trying to put on some false image of who they are. They just, they're De Niro and Pacino. Yeah, you know? <laughs> so. it's great. I love it. That's a good one. Um, so you have one fan question from John F2. Okay. And he wants to know, why do you think that you're a good match for DJ? Ah. So well, sell I mean, yourself, basically. Our chemistry is undeniable. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> no, um, we, you know, look, it, we just all have, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say, but we just have a good time. Um, like, I guess, why should know, she choose you over Steve? I would say, you know, I think we're very compatible. Um, I think DJ <laughs> and Matt are just are, um, they have common interests. Um, they make each other smile. Yeah. And, you know, they both like to have fun. Um, I would say they, they're both two people who have hung on to their youth, so to speak, and they're just, yeah. they're just lively, you know, energetic, fun people. Um, and, uh, you know, and new is good. Yeah, so, this is true. Look, yeah. I t I'm telling you, yeah. in a couple of weeks, he's going to be back, y'all, and you're going to watch, <laughs> and he's going to say, you were right, you guessed it. Even though I have to say I was kind of rooting for Steve for a little bit because I, it's like everyone wants that, hey, like, you know. It. He's like, been a juggernaut, man. Talk about some competition. <laughs> Good Lord. Like, and, like, he's kind of put her through a lot of stuff, too, throughout sure. the year. So it's yeah. like you kind of want that resolution to just finally, can you just finally get together, like, just yeah. and but here's the thing. There's one shot uh, in Fuller House that she shows like her um, husband that passed away, the firefighter, mm. and he looks awfully a lot like you, uh -oh. <laughs> which makes me think that you're probably DJ's type more than Steve. Uh, you know, uh -huh. so I'm just gonna throw that out there. We'll find out in a couple of weeks what the deal is. I could be right or wrong, but I just yeah, feel we'll like see, I'm correct. Right? You gotta tune in. Yeah, exactly. Well, I had so much fun with you. Thank you so yes, much for coming for in. This is great, it was awesome. Sure. Can you tell them where they can find you? Like Instagram, Twitter. What's your uh... at John Brotherton? Pretty simple. Um, is all my handles. Um, I see you. Got that. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, girlfriends of Christmas Past is coming out. I'm also going to be playing uh, Gene Krantz in the same week. Actually, all these things are coming out within the same week. Gene Krantz on Timeless. Okay. He's the legendary flight director of all the Apollo missions. Um, and that's on what channel? NBC. NBC. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, I think it's it's either the last weekend in November or the next week. The first week. I, it depends December. if they yeah. take. I don't know if they're taking a week off. Um, for for Thanksgiving week, right, 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 play yeah. a new episode mm -hmm. in there, so it'll either be that weekend or the following weekend. And that following week is December fourth. We got the Christmas movie. December nine, we got Fuller House. Uh, you know, December fifteen, you'll be back in here. There we go. I don't so. know what December fifteen is. I just threw out a date, but I'm just trying to get it all in that week. You know. I know. Yep. 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 That's awesome. Well, so, thank you. I had blessings. so much fun with thank you. you. That's amazing. Thank you, thank you. Um, you guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Annika Michelle One and my website AnnikaMichelle.com. Thanks for watching. Yay! Thank you. So after this thing. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. Buzz you later. <laughs> <laughs>